mostly mostly young guys. What do you see as dedication in a relationship? And to me, for you, you you been here many moons, so it may have changed for you since you were like nineteen till now. Mm -hmm. how, how, what do you see as dedication in a relationship? Like, what 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 probably a, a, a youngster wouldn't couldn't fathom maybe mm -hmm. that what you want out of it. What do you want out of it? You know, I think, you know, young, some, some, oh, she's fine. I can hit that thing. Versus, she's, she has all that, but is she about her business? Is she got goals that she's trying to accomplish? She's obtaining goals. Right. Not in her face. Right. Superficial. Right, I'm right. Sure. Right. Well, what good is that superficial when you got a bill standing in your face and you got one to graduate, you got a master's degree? What you worrying about the family? You got one that don't. You know, a lot harder. Now, they uh, stay they stay in with the, the government, like Obama said. You stay in the government with the benefits is going to benefit you long term than the private sector. Right. You know, without that degree. Mm -hmm. That extra degree. Right. You know? And uh, they don't want to do the same. How much is sister that got a master's degree make? And the sister just got out of high school and she took a little course and stuff. How much is how much is how much is she she making? What's the difference? <clears throat> yeah. College it's graduated boring. and you got a degree? Is that cool? Mm-hmm. When it don't, is that is that took their technical school or whatever? But do you think it it, it it comes down to like you know, a young mind, like man, she's so fine. It's, this one over here is fine. She may not got that going on, but she's fine. Now I got this one over here. She don't look all that. She may be bringing in the money, but this one will do everything I want. You know, it's like. Yeah, but she would, would everything you want. And she wants to participate to your family. That's true. And if she can, how many times you going to hit it to make that change? <laughs> how many times? <laughs> you know, how many times? <laughs> Mm. And it don't change. Uh. Well, then you fuck. Now nah, you you disillusioned. You know, nah, I don't like it no more. You know? She done got a little old and she done put weight on and she done done this, that, that, that. It's about the family. What mm -hmm. she doing for the family? Right. What you doing for the family? You know? You ain't no future, no planning. Mm. That's a dead end street, ain't it? Yeah. You know, what's, what's your goal? And what's hers? Mm -hmm. What does she want to be? before she hits retirement. Mm -hmm. How much money does she want to be able to make to be well off when she retires? What is the investment she do? Do you know an investment? Uh, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll take a, uh, 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 I'll take a loan out on the house and refinance and you dumb it in a box, box of rocks. <laughs> you dumb it in a box of rocks. No, you don't do refinance. What was refinance? Did you do the research on it? Right. You didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about you getting ahead. It's about you getting your business of your bills and shit in order. That controls your wealth. Mm -hmm. If I took my, just like I told you about 10 years back to me, you take all this and you really sit and look at it. What could I do different with this 10 years than I'm going to do with the next 10 years? To put me in a better position is what the question is. Mm. Once you figure that out, you halfway there. But now, now tell me, is you think a lot of like young guys become disillusioned because they got youth on their side? So it's like I could get another one like that easy because I'm young. I got youth on my side. Well, Versus when you're old, you think it's, more about it. It goes both ways. Women look that way and men look that way. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get old. Your titties gonna start sagging. <laughs> So now who you gonna catch in the next 10 years? Right. Yeah. No, it's, it's being realistic. You know? What did you marry this person for? The body? Or all that personality that you bring to the family to make the world better? Right. And your happiness. Mm -hmm. But they don't wanna look at that. Huh. They wanna hang with your friends. No, no, fuck you can't hang with your friends out there fucking every shit in the street. Now you bring a venereal disease back to your loved one. Mm. No, nah, oh fuck no. <laughs> and the girl says, I just did it to see if I could get it. Mm. Yeah, they do that. Mm. And you know, try to tell the brother, 
No, she really not. No, no, no. Mm. She's sitting up in the bar talking about how she's going to break up your marriage. Mm. Huh. <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's sitting there and just throwing on the cocktails with her girlfriend. Mm. Telling her everything she got planned. Mm. I'll get that nigga there. I'm going to leave this one. Mm. And now you ain't left me good thing. Now you sleeping under the bed. True. Now you got the old raggedy big piece of shit. Mm. You know, you don't have no comfort no more. You can't take no vacations. You can't do none of that shit. Mm. Because you done made the wrong choice. Mm. No, I don't do that. Yeah. No, no, no. There's a lot of sisters out there, but some, if they ain't got the brain, they ain't got a good brain, I don't want nothing to do. So in your time, you don't see people make fumbles like that. <laughs> yeah. They had a good woman, they went out there in the street to get them, and now they're both at your marriage. And now you got to end up thinking, you, you had three kids with that other girl. Mm. And now, the court is saying, come here, man. When's the last time they made that child's plan? Oh, well, you know, it's a, okay. We done the in your job tomorrow. Mm. Employer look at you and say, mm. get, get rid of it from mm. Find something, get rid of it. Mm. Don't tell him you're fine. Don't do that. Mm. Just get rid of it. Mm. That's what they do. Mm. When you got a shit. Did you know that? Well, they ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, still dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> What they ain't supposed to, they do. Right. They just don't tell you. Right. Does you mess the difference? They supposed to warn you? No, no. You're supposed to have the same to think ahead of them. Right. My daddy told me when we sleep, they in there wait, plotting, and planning against us. Right. So when you wait, you better be on cue. Mm -hmm. You better be doing your research when you're awake. Mm -hmm. For people that have been on um, Two Kuda Khan checking in with, you know, the podcast that we usually do, you know this is none other than old school. But on this particular one, this is filmed for the documentary Dedication. And in this documentary, we're going to be getting a bunch of takes of dedication when it comes to relationships. They could be Relationships you have with your partner, but relationships mainly with your someone you find interesting as your gal, your woman, your lady, or who you like to call your lady. That's right. And since old school is an old schooler and he's been around a while, we got takes from younger brothers and older ones. I think older ones would put a little bit more wisdom on the younger ones' heads to, you know, kind of get a, a feel of what true dedication is. Mm. Since you was probably 19 till now, how has your dedication changed when it comes to relationships? Do you think it's changed or do you think it's remained the same over the years that you don't live in? I've learned different things. Right. Yeah, anyways, good people. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you know, Things ain't, they, they shouldn't change, you know, mm -hmm. but things do change. Right. You know, because uh, you got a lot of people that, uh, you know, like you said, their partners, your significant other, mm -hmm. uh, folks' attitudes. Right. Different things. You, you think know? an attitude kind of plays a main thing into... A relationship. Yeah. Of course, all the time, hmm. you know, and it depends on how solid everything is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, right? And if that makes sense to you all, because since you know, I look at it like this: if we have different kind of relationships, you like a person may have a woman that's kind of timid and meek, or someone would say meek and doesn't like to say too much. And then you got boisterous women that, oh yeah, that are just. Um, Blast out yeah. whatever they have to say. Yeah. You know? And uh, like they say, uh, the old saying goes, you know, uh, a shut up mouth don't get heard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's fine too. But sometimes your mouth can be too big. 
you know. Yeah. You would think. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, you can blow things. Right. You know, blow a good thing. Right. And, 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 and you know, wreck a relationship, you right. know. Dedication. So, you know, so it does it matter? Because some people are like, I've been with this person a long time. But they kind of ain't been shit. So how can you count that as dedication if they've been here and ain't been fulfilling the needs that you may need in that relationship? You right. Know? It's just been like a, a a dead relationship. Yeah. You just you know holding on. I mean? You just, you know, that that's fine that you've been there a long time. But what what are you what are you accomplishing? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Well, what have you accomplished? Mm-hmm. If anything, I was gonna say you was just saying when you said uh, you know people messing up, saying you was making it rain and stuff in the club and stuff. But you know it's always for them young dudes that always like it ain't tricking if you got it. Like that's the okay. -o. Like I got it, so how's it tricking? Cause I got money to spend. Okay, the same. Okay, you got money to spend? Go buy that Lamborghini over there. Oh, now you ain't tricky. You can't, you can't do it. Uh, go buy that uh, five bedroom mansion. Oh, oh, you ain't got money to do that. But you got money for this piddling shit. It's gonna last for a hot minute, and then get your ass under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But that's, that's finance. That's that's what it is. You ain't got the money to pay you back off. Mm. And that's what they don't think of. They don't think about it later down the road. Mm. Can I maintain this for so long? Right. Hmm. Without putting harm to me. Mm -hmm. And when you figure out that, then you look at you look at your I look at mortgages on house totally different. I got a mortgage, let's say I had a hundred thousand dollars. Ten grand a year for ten years. Mm -hmm. That's a hundred thousand dollars. Everybody knows. Right. But yeah, I make more. So why don't I pay that off your well, That goes in my pocket. Mm -hmm. It don't go nowhere else. I don't have to mail it off. Right. I can just put it in my pocket. I got a savings in the bank. Put some in the savings. Put some in his uh, 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 credit union. Look good standing in the credit union. He ain't got a balance. Because if you get a certain balance, then they don't charge you shit if you have a certain balance in the bank. Right. That's another thing they don't tell you. you so that's almost like. You a $1,000 balance in your bank. You don't get no uh, financing charges. So that, that mantra is almost like. Like when you said it's a person, they, they got a building. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it seemed like they have it, but instead of investing in a building, they're going to buy all brand new stuff, extending themselves out no. further. No, you don't do that. Hmm. You get things to make you money. Right. You get the things that run them. When I got that, that went over there, I think I was paying, they were paying $400 some dollars for it. When $400 shit ain't never coming back. Right. Now you got to pay 14 or 12 or whatever. Because everything in this world is going on. Mm -hmm. And rent's going to do the same. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a, they know they got a big problem coming. Because mm -hmm. these people cannot afford it unless they got a job. Or you got a job that's paying them. $15 ain't going to get it. Mm -hmm. I was making $15 when I was in construction as a laborer mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And when I left the bricklayers, I was making 30 it was $36 an hour mm. when I left. Mm. An hour. It's higher than that now. Oh, yeah. So what would you say it would probably be now? In today's time? <laughs> oh, now it's, it's probably in the 40s. Mm. Because it's union. Mm -hmm. The union construction, they got the independence. Mm -hmm. And they come in, oh, Rick, you're, we'll give you a contract. You're assigned this. Uh, you're, uh, you're your own contractor. Mm. That's what you try to get me. Mm. You're a well, you'll make you get all the money. I said, well, oh no, we don't do benefits. Mm. Oh, you gonna fuck me when I'm old. <laughs> oh heck no, I don't want that. I'll go get my own money. I don't need that. You're right. But I have enough sense to see the glitter that you have right now will go that way. Mm -hmm. And once it's gone, it's gone. Mm. So if you got something that you invest that you own, I can either sell it, rent it, do something with it. Mm -hmm. I can't do that with it if I don't own it. Yeah, it's 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 nice to be able to to we've discussed them kind of things before to uh, 
uh, uh, be happy, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, be dedicated. Right. You know, you know, and if you're dedicated, you know, happiness can come from that. Right. You know what I mean? But do you think on the search, because it doesn't, I know it doesn't happen overnight, be it you're young or old, but for a youngster that's trying to figure out if his female is dedicated or not or have potential to, what signs does he need to look for? You know, if say he's 20 or oh, something like that. He's a young man. Yeah. And she's a young woman. Yeah. Well, they need to look for the first thing I would suggest is, uh, you know, uh, honesty. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, being able to get along. True. You know, and uh, also uh, having a lot in common mm-hmm. with the, each other. You right. Know? I mean, so it can't just like, you know, a lot of people, well, she's fine and all this. It, it got to be more than just down to sex or. And just, uh, uh, right, I didn't mean to cut you off. Right. Just uh, lust and looks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, 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 that ain't going to happen. Uh, ten, that, that, that's not gonna get it. You right. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I said, you get you got to be able to get along. That you yeah. Know, get along and uh, not too many arguments. I mean, arguments come, but yeah, not they, too many. You got to argue. You right. know, they, everyone has a disagreement. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Don't right. see eye to eye on everything. Right. You know, but but it doesn't got to turn all hateful or anything, anything like that. Just, there's ways to work them things out, mm-hmm. you know, and still have great care for right. each other, mm-hmm. you know. So would you say, like, dedication, like, if uh, you fall ill and them coming to pay visits, be it if you're at your home or be it if you're at a hospital or something, them coming to check on you and make sure you're good, that's a portion of dedication of them being That's dedicated a big to you. Portion. Okay. Somebody being when you think, you know, yeah. that, that, that that that's very important. Yeah. You know, because but you know, uh, some people don't like well, hospitals and, and well, don't want to do the, that. That's the excuses. <laughs> right. They use. Right. You know, that's why the preacher tells you from death do you depart and this and that and that and this. You know, that's for real. Be true. You know what I mean? And even a relationship is supposed to be for real. If you care about one another, right. you know, you're supposed to see about one another. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not just go crazy because one year now, you know, like you just mentioned, mm-hmm. you know, th- this one's uh, over here in the in the hospital and now you're going to go wild. <laughs> right, right. right. Wild, you know, like, you, like the, you know, and, and not go and see the person and, you know, or, uh, or spend no time, or you know, or won't call. Right. You know what I mean. And mm-hmm. Check and see how their well-being is. Right. Any of all them, uh, all them things that you would think people are supposed to do, mm-hmm. and that you are really supposed to do. Right. Especially if you care about each other. Right. You know. But other than that, you know. So basically, like you, I mean, even though you can't say, well, it's a. We each give a hundred, or we each is sixty forty, uh-huh. and damn near got to be fifty fifty. You it's, know, it's if you're putting in that, they have to put out something too. Everybody, you, you both got to help each other. You got to support each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You, I mean, I mean, if it, it's, it's not just no one way thing, right? You know, I mean, because uh, it won't last. If that's what you call yourself trying to do, yeah, you're one, you know, put more effort into the situation than the other. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Dedication, like you're saying, is being really dedicated, right? You know, and 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 and, and meaning it and showing so it. So, like, say one uh, got laid off, the other one ain't got a problem with you know help. Let me pick up the slack a little bit. 
so our thing could keep rolling on. As long as, as long as you gonna get laid back in. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. You're not just staying laid off. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. Right. You know, yeah. Right. right, right. That makes sense? Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, you can, uh, you know, uh, you know, nothing is promising. Right. You know? It's like, you know, you, you, you're on the job side, oh, baby, I broke my leg. Uh, I'm going to be All out right. for it. The definition of dedication, what may it be? What do you call it? What I call it, I call it some, you know, somebody that's down for you through thick and thin. You know, whether they got money, whether you got money, you know, they can stay there with you. If you got a cardboard box, they'll help you set it up. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, got the flashlight, they got the batteries, you know. Yeah. So that's dedication. You know, a lot of people got dedication. A lot of people don't got dedication. You got to learn the definition of dedication. You got to experience some things. Yes, experience some things. You got to go through some shit, you know? Right. No, not not these new motherfuckers that, oh, dedication is, oh, I got half on the sack with you. Nah, that's not no fucking dedication. <laughs> right. That's fucking, I want to smoke too. Right, that's you know? a moment's time. Yes. Whatever. Right, right. Let me pick up some you extra get, shifts or something you like get that. A, you, somebody may get a little workman's comp or mm -hmm. whatever, but after a while, that can run out too. True. It depends on, you know, how long you're going to be receiving these funds. But when you get better, the good Lord blesses you to get better, mm -hmm. get better right. all the way around. Right. Go get something again. Right. You know what I mean. Get better, make better, you know, do, do better. better. For, right. you know, the one that's doing by you, you know. Right, 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 right. And so other than that, you know, uh, I just think that... Uh, that's a part of uh, a, a big part of being dedicated to each other mm -hmm. is by helping each other. Right. You know, not just no one way show, my man. Right. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, that ain't gonna go hmm. with nobody. Right. You know what I mean? Unless somebody's lacking hmm. somewhere. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Motherfucker thinking they. Uh, you know, got a golden nugget. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or right. something. You know, the, 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 the chicken that lays golden eggs or some shit, mm. you know, that ain't going to work, you know, I mean, but... Uh, now, now in that kind of situation, like, say, be, it, be a woman or a man, if one got a significant amount more, can it still be dedication if the other one really doesn't got their funds at their same level? You mean that they're not making the same as... Equal, yeah, to yeah. No, that that that, that don't that, that that shouldn't matter. It shouldn't True. matter, right? You know, but you you should want to uh, join together, right? You know, if you got uh, uh, true happiness with each other, right? And true true togetherness. But do you, you know? think find like a lot of times that people get in each other's ears like, girl, he ain't got this. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You taking care of him and all that old kind of shit. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, and then that's another thing, you know. Uh, don't let everybody all into your business. Your right. personal business. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause, that's my girlfriend. I yeah. talk to her yeah. when, when, when I'm down and, 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 and things a, like and that. A, and a lot of times, you know, you know, they don't even mean each other no good. Mm. They could be trying to steal your boyfriend. <laughs> True. You know, or steal your girlfriend. <laughs> right. Or whatever the situation could be. Right. You know, and start just bad mouthing and uh, you know, just cutting the motherfucker down and and saying, you know, uh all type of negative things to keep shit flowing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And so therefore, like I said, and like you've been asking, you know, if 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 you if you're dedicated to each other, you're gonna work it out, mm -hmm. and you're gonna and you're not gonna try to let stumbling blocks get in your way mm -hmm. to fuck your pay up, right? And everything to make you know your ends not meet no more. Mm -hmm. You know, even if one is making more, right? And you know, so 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 that fine and dandy. Be blessed and be thankful to God that one is able to uh, probably make a little more or is making more, but that don't mean that you can't make, you know, a, 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 a good amount to bring to the table too. Right. That's you true. understand? Mm -hmm. You know? And so 
you know, uh, join together, stay together, right? Stay together and be happy. Mm -hmm. Be happy and 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 keep people out of your shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you can help that, right? You know, and not be sitting around. I remember my mom used to always say that. You know, get a motherfucker a broom. They want to come over and hang around in your way. Give them something to do. You know, <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you doing over here? You start, you know, they just want to gossip and shit. Mm -hmm. Find something to do. Right. They ain't trying to mean me no good. Mm -hmm. Come over there and eat your shit up and drink your stuff up and, mm -hmm. you know, then leave and then talk shit about you. Right. Later. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dedication in a relationship, I would say, is keep the same energy you had when we first met. You know, like the flirting the nice compliments like keep that same energy because clearly like it attracted me right so keep it up hey we own dedication you know you see that line right there you know yeah you know sometimes you know if you really dedicated you on this side right but you know if you if you're not dedicated then you know you stepping over on this side and you fucking up everything else that's supposed to be you know what you do i'm trying to stay on this side i'm dedicated I want somebody that's dedicated with me, you know? Right. Through thick and thin, you know, stormy weather. You know, we got the moon out, you know? You know? Dedication. The stars is dedicated, you know? Right. You, you never see a moon without the stars. You right, know? unless it's some overcast. So, right, you know? <laughs> you never see the sun without the clouds. You right. Know? It might be a cloudy day. It might be a non-cloudy day. But even if it's not cloudy, you still see some clouds that's there that's dedicated to that sun right there. Matter of fact, we're in the backdrop. Speak speak on what was in the backdrop over there, that, yeah. that, that, that scoreboard thing. Yeah, the scoreboard, you know. We try, we're not trying to be no guests. You know, we, we at home right now, you know. Right. We're at the old time of parks and recreation, you know. <laughs> we're we trying to hit home runs and stay dedicated to our team, you right. know. We, home we, runs out the motherfucking park. park. You know? You know, this is a big ass park. We gotta hit the hit the hit the balls out this motherfucker. But right. you know, if you wanna stay dedicated, stay on my team, don't switch to the other team. We might be losing. Hey, but shit, stay dedicated. We all work together and we can make it we can make it work. Come together like butt cheeks. Man, come together like Legos. <laughs> Click clack. You know, right. Nice evening to stay dedicated. You know, you gotta stay dedicated to whatever. You know, I'm dedicated to okay. two cool to con. TV, you know, hmm. even though people hating on it, you right. know, we can't, we can't get it. You know, you hear the sirens, you see the police dedicated to doing their business, right. you know. And we had a young brother in the background over there dedicated to making his shots. Is he doing it? Yep. See, he's missing, but still, you know, he's dedicated to it. Right. He got to keep going. Yeah. So. He, you can't let let you missing one shot get right. you down. You no, know, can't can't let. He, he trying to try for the basketball team for next year, you know. But we talking about dedication. Somebody that's sticking down with you through thick and thin. Right. You know, you might be broke. They broke too, but y'all going to get it together because it's dedication. Right, you know? but they might be like, ready shot, they're not looking the best. They, they don't look a certain way. Man, well, you know, they they can look like a fucking elephant. You know, as long as they still down with you, dedicated to you. Right. Then, you know, bring the it all together. The beauty is definitely yes. within the duty. Yes, the beauty is skin deep, you know. Right. It's, it's all about your insides, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can be fine as hell, but have ugly ass insides, you know. Ugly insides, ugly tendencies. Yes, ugly tendencies, everything, you know. Right. Ugly feet, ugly. So what does that physical beauty matter if, if they got all that ugliness going for them? That don't mean a motherfucking thing, you know. <laughs> it's not shit, you know. For so, real. So stay dedicated to the person who you with. And, right. You know, they'll be dedicated to you, hopefully. You know, if not, then you got to move on to the next motherfucker that'll be dedicated to you. Right. Just like like you said, the young brother in the back yeah. practicing his jump. Shooting, he just made Shooting hoops, you know what I'm saying? Shooting. That's where it starts. Hit a three. Shoot a three. He almost made it though, yeah. you know. Young brother back there dedicated. He trying to make the basketball team for, you know, next school year or something. You know, he dedicated to his, his little form, you know. Right. You and see, it comes a form when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, having a, a gift of gab and conversation. Yes, yes you know, because conversation rules a nation, man. Well, you can't, if you don't have that mouthpiece, you, you can't do nothing. You know, you can be broke, be like, hey, you know, just like the street hustlers out there. Hey, you know, you got a few dollars for me, you know what I'm saying? Bye bye. You know, once they get it, that's you know, that's dedication. You know, gift the gap, 
Use your mouthpiece, you know. Don't don't use it for the booty, but you know that's right. your thing. And, and that's always your thing, elevate. You know? It's always about elevate. Yes, yes. You can't yes. stay at the same level. No, no, you no. Know? You, you can't stay at this level. You gotta you gotta rise up top. You right. Know? So, hey, dedication. Stick to it. Stick to who you with. Stick to who's dedicated to, to you. you. And you be dedicated to them. That's too. the main ingredient. Yes, the main ingredient. Mix it up. <laughs> Put it in the pot. <laughs> Drink it up. Yep. You know? And feed it to her. Yes. You know, feed each one, her. teach one. Yep. Hey, you sip it, she sip it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Till it's all gone. Mm -hmm. So, hey, that's dedication for you. Too cool to con. TV, rated shot. We out this time.